Hello again. In this session, what I want to talk about is likelihood criteria. Now, I've seen the full gamut um, from people using percentages. 90 to 99% is almost certain. Almost certain is expected to occur in most circumstances. I've seen organizations use um, instances per year. And I've also seen instances per transaction. But what happens when you've got an organization where part of the organization, one likelihood criteria is appropriate, but for the other part of the, the organization, another criteria is appropriate. And I'll give you an example. I've recently been working with an organization that does multiple millions of transactions per year. And we talked about the number of fraud events that have been discovered. And in on any given year, there might be sort of five to 10 fraudulent events discovered. Now, if you were to use the uh, a, an annual-based or a time-based likelihood criteria for that organization, where anything greater than one instance per year was almost certain, then it would be almost certain that that event is going to occur in terms of a fraud. But what about if we turn that around and we say, well, hang on, they've done 5 million transactions in that particular period, and there's only five instances of fraud. Five in five million, or one in one million chance that you're going to have that fraudulent activity. Would you say that that is almost certain, or is that rare? And that's up to the organization to decide that. But what I'm advocating is that there is absolutely nothing wrong in having your likelihood criteria um, segregated so that you've got for operational any time or any numbers greater than once in a year, for transactional anything greater than, I don't know, 0.1 of a percent or 0.2 of a percent is considered almost certain. And that way you can actually assess the likelihood of that particular event occurring in, in a way that is actually commensurate with the actual likelihood that is going to occur. And this is a really important part of it because if we were to say, take that example once again and we've got a one in one million chance but five per year, it could be the difference between almost certain and rare in terms of our likelihood criteria or our likelihood assessment, which means that the level of the risk is going to be completely different based on what likelihood criteria we use. Therefore, the effort that we put in in terms of managing that risk above the existing controls could mean that we're spending more resources than we necessarily need to do. So one of the things that I, I think that, uh, or, or that I believe organizations should be doing now is going in and determining what parts of their organization can use things like the numbers per year and other parts of the organizations that can be looking at transactional. There is absolutely nothing wrong, as I said, with, look, with maintaining those side by side in the same likelihood matrix that you use. That's all I've got for this session. As always, let's be careful out there.